In my research laboratory, we work on devices that are meant to automatically diagnose and treat problems in the heart. Some of these devices are implantable devices that are placed surgically inside of the body. These automatically diagnose and treat cardiac arrhythmias, uh, like pacemakers. Some of these devices are external devices that a patient might wear that collect information about a patient's activity and the behavior of their heart. Okay, this is an example of a cardiac pacemaker. Um, this is a very small device that's actually placed surgically in the body underneath the right clavicle, the bone up here. And these are lead wires that pass from this device into the heart so that the pacemaker can sense and treat the heart using small electrical pulses. Jason is one of my graduate students who uh, actually was an undergraduate student here as well and did undergraduate honors research with me and then stayed and is now uh, working towards his PhD. Jason's been working on a, a body position and electrocardiographic monitoring system. Well, Holter monitoring is a common diagnostic tool used by cardiologists to monitor a patient, patient's EKG for 24 hours. So we've developed a monitor uh, that can, while recording an EKG, can also monitor body position or what the person is doing at any particular time. And how it works is we put sensors on the chest and the leg that measures gravity and also can detect uh, changes in velocity related to a person's motion. And using this, we can correlate the EKG with whatever body position or activity the person is doing at a particular time. In addition to the hardware that we've created for this monitoring system, we've also developed some software to, to allow us to uh, see what we've recorded. And here is a, is a program that will allow us to see uh, what the person is doing, plus see what his EKG is at a particular time. And now we can see the person is standing, now sitting, and walking, lying on his back, lying on his right, and lying on his left. This past year, I involved several undergraduate students in my laboratory again. Eric and Indranil, who are both honors program in medical education engineering students, work with me designing and building a pacemaker simulator.